Tinumbu APC asked tribunal to dismiss OB Labour Party's petition with substantial costs. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The All Progressives Congress APC on Monday prepped the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, in Abuja to dismiss the petition filed by the Labour Party LP and its presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, against the emergence of Senator Bola Tunubu as president-elect in the February 25th election. The All Progressive Congress, the fourth respondent, urged the PEPC to reject the petition in its notice of prelim preliminary objection mouth, marked CA PEPC 03-2023 and filed at PEPC's secretariat Monday night by Thomas Ojo, a member of the party's legal team led by Latif Agbemi San in Abuja. The party asked the tribunal to dismiss the petition with substantial cost on the grounds that it lacked merit and was frivolous. Obi, the first petitioner, and the Labour Party, the second petitioner, has sued the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Tunumbu, Senator Kashim Shetima, and the All Progressive Congress as its first to fifth, as its first to fourth correspondent, respectively. The petitioners are seeking the nullification of the election victory of Tunibu and Shutima in the February 25th presidential poll. While former Vice President Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, came second with 6,984,520 votes in the election, Obi came third with 6,101,533 votes. Abubakar and the People's Democratic Party are also challenging the outcome of the poll. However, in the petition marked CAPEPC 03 2023 filed by OB and the Labour Party lead council, Livy Ozoko, the contender that Tunibu was not duly elected by a majority of the law or the lawful vote cast at the time of the election. The petitioners claimed that there was rigging in 11 states, adding that they would demonstrate this in the declaration of results based on the uploaded result. OB and the Labour Party said INEC violated its own regulation when it announced the result days by the fact that at the time of the announcement, the totality of the polling unit results had yet to be fully scanned, uploaded and transmitted electronically as required by the Electoral Act. Among other prayers, the petitioners urged the tribunal to determine that at the time of the presidential election held on February 25, 2023, the second and the third respondents, Tunimbo and Shetima, were not qualified to contest the election. That it will be determined that all the votes recorded for the second respondent in the election are wasted votes owing to the non qualification of the second and third respondent. That it will be determined that on the basis of the remaining votes after discountenancing the votes credited to the second respondent, the, vest, the first petitioner will be scored the majority of the lawful votes cast at the election and had not less than 25% of the votes cast in each of at least two thirds of the State of the Federation and the FCT and certified the constitutional requirement to be declared the winner of the February 25th presidential election. That it will be determined that the second respondent, Tinubu, having failed to score one quarter of the vote cast at the presidential election in the FCT, was then entitled to be declared and returned as the winner of the presidential election held on the 25th of February. Responding, the All Progressive Congress prepared the court to dismiss the suit on the ground that would be the first petitioner lack because of local standing to institute the petition because he was not a member of the Labour Party for at least 30 days to, to the party's primary presidential to be validly sponsored by the party. It said, and I quote, the first petitioner will be was a member of the People Democratic Party until May 24, 2022. The first petitioner was screened at the presidential experience of the People Democratic Party in April 2022. The first petitioner participated and was cleared to contest the presidential election while being a member of the People Democratic Party. The first petitioner purportedly resigned his membership of the People Democratic Party on May 24th and May 24, 2022 to purportedly join the second petitioner Labour Party on May 27, 2022. The second petitioner conducted its presidential primary on May 30, 2022, which purportedly produced first petitioner as its candidate, which time controversy section 773 of the Electoral Act for him to contest the primary election as a member of the second petitioner. 
The party argued that Obi was not a member of the Labour Party at the time of his alleged sponsorship. The All Progressive Congress argued that by the mandatory provision of Sections 7, 7, 1, 2 and 3 of the Electoral Act 2022, a political party shall maintain a register and shall make such register available to INEC not later than 30 days before the date fixed for the party's primaries, congresses and convention. He stated further that all the People Democratic Party's presidential candidates were screened on April 29, 2022, an exercise which will be participated and cleared to contest while being a member of the party. It argued that the petition was incompetent since Obinim could not have been in the Labour Party's register made available to INEC as of the time he joined the party. The All Progressive Congress equally argued that the petition was improperly constituted having failed to join Atiku Abubakar and the People Democratic Party who were necessary parties to be affected by the relief sought. By paragraph 17 of the petition, the petitioners on their own stated that Al Haji Atiku Abubakar came second in the presidential election with 6 million. 984,520 votes as against the petitioners who came third with 6,101,533 votes. At paragraph 102 of the petition, the petitioner asked the tribunal to determine that first petitioner scored the majority of lawful votes without joining Al Haji Atik Abubakar in the petition. For the tribunal to grant prayer free of the petitioners, the tribunal must have set aside this cause. An election of Al Haji Atiku Abu Bakr. Al Haji Atiku Abu Bakr must be heard before his votes can be discounted as by the tribunal, it said. The party said the petition and the identified paragraphs were in breach of the mandatory provisions of paragraph 4 1D of the first schedule to the Electoral Act 2022. According to the All Progressive Congress, paragraph 60 to 77 of the petition and then specific, vague, and or nebulous and thereby incompetent contrary paragraph. 41D of the last shed of the first schedule to the Electoral Act 2022. It said the allegations of non compliance must be made distinctly and proved on polling unit basis, but not one was specified or provided in any of the paragraphs of the petition. Paragraphs 59 to 60 of the petition disclose no identity of particular subscores and polling units supplied in 18,088 units mentioned therein, it added. The party therefore argued that the tribunal lacked the requisite jurisdiction to entertain pre-election complaints embedded in the petition as presently constituted among other arguments. The All Progressive Congress urged the tribunal to dismiss the petition with substantial cost as same as devoid of any merit and founded on frivolity. Well, the case still did cause with the weight waiting the though with the way waiting um, the court could talk. Though at this point I am saying it is going slow. This is not the pace I expected it to go, but Let's keep waiting now. This uh, the episode by episode way APC and I need the release for us. Make we continue to the wait and the watch and now. All right, on this note you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.